artsy colleagues. My name is Janicia Keels, and if you have been keeping up with my blogs, you know that I am working with Jasmine Miller under the supervision of Dr. Ayana Howard at Georgia Tech with building and programming a Manawa ATO1 humanoid robot. As of today, we have about 80% of the building aspect done with the Manawa. Here's what we have so far. On the front is the battery pack. It uses 10.8 volts to power up. And in the back, there is the central motherboard, and all of the wires and servers are connected to the central motherboard. If you see in here, there's a green red light that indicates that the battery is fully charged and ready to go. So the manual has 17 degrees of freedom, which equals to 17 servos. The head is a degree of freedom, the arm, the hand, the legs, pretty much anywhere that it moves is a degree of freedom and it's a different servo. Our task this week is to set an initial home position for the Manawa. A home position is pretty much a default position in which the Manawa goes into once you turn it on. We want it to stand up automatically when we turn the Manawa on. So I'm using my laptop to video this so you can't see the whole thing. But we want it to stand up like this. See? We stand up. No hands. Okay, anyways. Now we're using uh, the software that it came with, which is Japanese based. It's called Heart to Heart to set these different values on the servo so it could stand up. Now each of the servos can move a certain limit. Um, although the program has values between negative 690 to 600 to positive 690 for each servo, um, they only can move between a certain number. Like the arm can only move between about negative 300 to positive 200, but the knees can only move between 309 and 355. So they're pretty random, and if you can imagine, it's pretty time consuming to figure out which numbers the servos move on for each of the servos. So. While we were doing this, unfortunately, we ran into a problem. Four of the servos don't move at all. So we took it apart and we just tested each individual servos that we were having problems with. And we moved the values between negative 690 and 690. It didn't move at all. So we contacted the company and explained that we have faulty servos and they're going to return it. However, it's going to take about two weeks for them to do that. And that's going to set us back a bit because we're already at our halfway marker on our research and we only have five more weeks left and to finish building and programming this robot. So I'm going to show you the random home position it is right now. And let me turn on the software. Now you can find this software if you Google heart to heart and they have it in English luckily. Okay, let's see. I am running Windows XP right now. So my computer is running a bit slow because I have a MacBook and running parallels is not that good of a thing sometimes. All right, so I'm gonna sync it, make sure my mind was on and hopefully it doesn't kick me. So that's its home position right now. And it can barely stand up, but since we have four faulty servos, we can't program it to stand up perfectly. And I'm gonna move the head for you using the software. I'm gonna move it slowly so you can see how I'm controlling it. So it's at 210 right now. I'm gonna move it to 100. So you see that? Now I'm going to move it to negative 100. And now I'm going to move it back to zero. And 210 is where the middle portion is at. So that's pretty much how it works. Um, that's the arm, yeah, it almost kicked me. Let's move it back. And that's up. Let's move it to its regular position now. All right. So that's pretty much how you uh, operate the servos on the hard to hard software. You enter in different values and see where it moves at. Alright, I'm going to close it now. So while we're waiting on the new servos, 
we're going to continue to try to fix the faulty servos. Maybe we missed something, did something wrong. So we're going to continue looking at that. Also, we're going to start customizing our body shell for the Manoa so we can place it on. And it could look a bit more attractive because as you can see, it's kind of ugly right now. But we're going to paint it and everything so it's going to look really, really presentable and nice. Also, we're going to look into finding out which camera is the best for this robot. We were looking into cell phone cameras, specifically the iPhone camera, because it has two megapixels, so that's pretty good. And we were going to integrate it into the robot. Um, in my other blog, I explained that we have extra pins for customization, so we can add our camera easily. Um, we're going to use figure out which vision software is the best and start programming the vision aspect of the robot because we don't need the, the extra servos to do that portion. So other than that, everything is going well and hopefully in the next five weeks we have a complete Manoa um, that can interact and play with a child. So until then, I shall update you soon and I will see you guys later. Peace, rock out.